Hey gang, Hi. we made it to Puerto Escondido. Located on the Pacific coast of Mexico in the state of Oaxaca, Puerto Escondido is a beautiful little town known for amazing beaches with incredible surfing and delicious local cuisine. In this video, we're gonna show you some of our favorite beaches that we visited during our time here. Come, Come along with us. Hi, I'm Avi. And I'm V. Join us in our explorations of the central coast of California. And our adventures beyond. We're here at Playa Manzanillo. It's a really cool little beach. It's kind of secluded. It has some beach clubs, yep. beautiful coastline. Very gentle waves for people to swim in and snorkel. Yeah, a bunch of rocks, so for sure there's a bunch of little schools of fishies hanging out in there. Yep, a nice place to get some beach chairs and some drinks or food and relax in between. It's really beautiful, so we're excited to show you it. We ended up walking here from our hotel. It took about 15, 20 minutes. You can also take a car here, or apparently there's tour buses that bring you here too as well. And then it's just a short walk down the hill to the beach. It's not too far, I would say maybe 50 stairs. Not bad. Yeah, it's a nice. We're gonna go snorkeling now. Apparently the very best snorkeling can be found over there near those rocks. Should we walk down to like that end of the beach and kind of swim and out there? And then make our way without getting hit by the rocks. Yeah. yeah. That All seems right. best. Let's go do it. We dove on into the warm water and started looking for fish. Much to our delight, we suddenly found ourselves swimming within a stone's throw of a beautiful giant sea turtle. This was definitely an awesome and unexpected bucket list event. And the turtle didn't seem to mind us at all. We kept our distance and after a few minutes he just floated away. All right, so let's get a bebida. Let's get a drink and uh, enjoy looking out at these. This is gorgeous. Salud. Salud. Estuvimos buscando para un sombrero. Sí. How much? Which one do you think is the most me, babe? This pink one here? Or this one here? The pink one goes with like skirts and sarongs you already have. That one might be better. Okay, I'll take this one. V got a new hat. <laughs> 12 bucks well spent if it helps keep my nose from getting burnt. Yeah. We really enjoyed Playa Manzanillo. This is a great place to come for snorkeling and food and drinks and just hanging out by the waves. All right, it's a hot day, but we made it to Playa Carizalillo. Looks beautiful. Looks beautiful. So come along with us as we check out the beach and the snorkeling. Do not enter while intoxicated. Just make sure you leave while you're intoxicated. <laughs> you can get drunk here. Don't start a shot that way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you might fall down the stairs. <laughs> Oh, wow. Look at that water. Who's afraid of a little steps? I don't know if that felt like 200. Yeah, that did not feel like 200. I'm gonna have to count on the way back up. Certainly is pretty. Let's we asked about the price of some of the lounge chairs at one of the beach clubs. They wanted a $30 rental fee per chair. And that didn't include any food or drinks, which sure. in our judgment was way too high. Quantos? They should have six hundred. No. All right. No thanks. Mesa it was included in drinks, sure, but. Mesa solamente son por bebida. We could sit at a table. We can do that. All right. All these people pay that price. Thirty bucks. It's a lot. It's like more than we cost to park your car. All right. I mean, five bucks, sure. Thirty bucks, six hundred pesos. What? It's local. But we can have a drink and go for a dip. Yeah. These waves look pretty rough. To be honest. They're not too bad. The water's warm! <laughs> Waving from the wave. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, 
That was refreshing. Yeah, that, that was, was good. That definitely beat the heat. Yeah, the water is nice. Water is very nice. Was this as easy to swim in as Manzanillo? No. No. I heard a lot of vloggers and I've read a bunch of articles that all say that this is the best beach in the area for swimming and snorkeling. I don't know, our experience was that the other one was better. Maybe we caught it on an off day. It wasn't bad per it's se, true. but the other one was just the waves were more placid, right? And the bottom sloped more gently. Like this one drops, gets deep fast and then you can't see the bottom. We were hopeful that this was gonna be a good snorkeling spot and everything was completely cloudy. We couldn't see anything. Yeah, the water was clearer at Manzanillo. Way clearer. And there was more fish. And more life. And corals yeah. and things to see. So and if you want to come here and go for a swim and get a drink and some food and get a tan, this is still a great beach. We're going to be the random weird YouTubers who say <laughs> that Manzanillo is better than Carizalillo. 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 Yeah. I have a hard time saying that one. <laughs> You're not the only one. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna chill here and have one more drink and then probably head back up the hill and go to Zicatella. Check that out. Alright, I'm gonna count these stairs on the way up. I'm gonna fall down these stairs on the way up. <laughs> Please don't. I don't want to carry you. <laughs> I don't know if I can carry you. <laughs> One sixty-six. One sixty-eight. Close enough to two hundred, I guess. Sure. I'd call it one fifty, though. Well, we're out of here, and it looks like there's convenient taxis that come and pick you up just at the top of the stairs. That's a good thing. We're a little tired. Here we are in a gorgeous, epic, epic place. These waves are huge. I don't see any surfers out here, do you? Not right here. Right. At this point, I do like a little more authentic Mexico when we come here. Sure. And if we were to stay in this neighborhood, we really should get a hotel with a pool because these waves are not swimmable. No. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to cool off at all. You get all, all sweaty, but then you can't go running into those waves. Hmm. Interesting step structure coming up. This is super cool. It's flipping warm. It's very warm. It's so warm. Uh, so would I be right in thinking, would you agree that that's the Playa Principal? Yes. Yeah. I mean, this beach just stretches all the way to the point. It just goes on and on and on. Almost like a castle, it's got little turrets everywhere. Given that this is Mexico, I'm surprised there's not little Mary statues around here. Right? Yeah, they left holes, they left the room for it. <laughs> what could this be for, except for some totem or something? We left Playa Zicatella and headed down to the city's main beach, Playa Principal, with the intention of exploring the scenic trail that runs along the rocky coast almost all the way to Playa Manzanilla. I like the vibe of this beach. Yeah, it's actually pretty cool because you can see all the way across to the other beaches right. too. Feels like everybody's having a party. Yeah, lots of chairs and umbrellas and tables. Lots of empty sand. Yeah. Hola amigos, todo el tour para ver delfines para mañana. No gracias. Yeah, this beach is really cool. Waves are pretty strong. I'm still gonna say the one. I haven't had this swam in this yet, but I can just kind of tell. Manzanillo has been the best swimming beach that we've found so far. So if you want to swim, Manzanillo. If you want to swim, get in the water. <laughs> and from here, we can see the beginnings of the walkway, which starts that coastal trail we're talking about. So, so we're going to go. We head over there. Yeah, we'll okay. Let's do part of it. Yep. 
we don't know if we'll get to the end, but... <laughs> Yep. Start to the walk. Yes. Let's see how much we accomplish before the sun sets. So it starts here. And goes to here. Yeah. What do you think about this bridge? Would it pass safety inspection in the US? <laughs> Okay, so here is where the bridge has been washed out. The path up is right here. And it's really not hard. It's nothing I couldn't handle in a skirt and tank and uh, flip flops. But the sun is setting. Yeah. And it's a little wet and slippery, so we figure it'd be best if we turn around and get back to Playa Principal. This, however, has been really fun and exciting to see. Yeah, it's beautiful. Definitely recommend trying this out if you're here. We're gonna head out to La Punta for the evening, get some food and some drinks out there, see what the nightlife is like. I've heard a lot about pinches tacos, so I'm yeah. fixing to get some tacos yeah, tonight. I'm gonna try pinches tacos if the wait's not super long. Super long. We'll see. We're gonna, I would hope we get some tacos would, no matter what. Yeah. So come along with us down to La Punta. And if you're so inclined, go ahead and click the like and subscribe button and get notified when we're off on our next adventure. Really helps our channel grow and we appreciate it. So right out of the gate, there's a heck of a lot more going on than when we were here earlier in the day. Looks like a fun place to party. Yeah, a lot more restaurants are open, a lot more people are out, a lot more street vendors are around. During the day, La Punta is a laid-back place with plenty of tiki bars, restaurants, and beach clubs. It's a popular neighborhood among young backpackers, digital nomads, and surfers who like to spend their days lounging on the beach and soaking in the warm water. At night, they pack into the open-air bars and nightclubs whose loud music fills the streets, creating a lively, party town atmosphere. I wonder what all the hoopla is about. Although there's a lot of tourists here. Both times we've been to La Punta now, definitely see more... Gringos? Yeah, more gringo tourists than Mexican tourists. Yep. At uh, Playa Manzanillo, it was mostly Mexican tourists. Mm -hmm. Definitely a different vibe. And it doesn't even look busy at Inche's Tacos. Okay, well, here we go. Let's go here. Hola. ¿Cómo están? Muy bien, ¿y usted? Bien. Bien. ¿Puedes sentarme? Sí. Ok. Ok, so here's what mine looked like before any toppings. Yeah, they totally look like fajitas. Yeah. Grilled onions and peppers, just like I thought. Now we go to the bar to dress them. Yeah, just gonna try to put a little bit of everything on. Wow. Going to town. Why not? Why not indeed? Wow, they have a lot of toppings. You sure? Alrighty. I wish I could have the shrimp. <laughs> I really hate being allergic to shrimp. I'll eat this one for you, Pete. In my name. <laughs> Good. Make sure to join us in the next video when we explore the lively atmosphere of the Adokin, a nightly open-air artisanal market. We also check out some of the many amazing culinary options this town offers, including the very best Al Pastor tacos that we've ever had. <laughs> so we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Gracias and hasta luego. Hasta luego! Bye! What did you just say? I'm glad today's ending on a high note. Woo! <laughs> One more time, you're not paying me, son. You'll be swimming with the titles.